Everything rocks, rolls, and shakes. Don Johnson has vestibular dysfunction, a debilitating brain disorder affecting balance. He's what's known as a wobbler. It's like um, the floor is shaking when you're walking. All your images are like an image and a half. There's an image around the outside of another image. Don's condition makes doing even the simplest task problematic. Doing chores around the house, it seems like you're always dragging your feet or stumbling over things. Your feet are, are not where you think they are. In 1989, Don took a strong antibiotic only used in extreme cases for a post-operative lung infection. He had an adverse reaction which damaged nerves in his inner ears. Our inner ears are critical for balance, control of eye movements, muscle activity, and posture. Vacuuming is difficult because where you want to go, your balance won't allow you to. You fall from one side to the other and you just hang on and go for the ride. A side effect of vestibular damage can be an eye movement dysfunction called oscillopsia. Unfortunately for Don, he suffers from this too. I also have damage to my optical nerve, so when I like shake my head like this, everything shakes, nothing sits still. From the visual perspective, I have to um, use an index card to follow the lines to read a newspaper, and even after about 10 or 15 minutes of reading the paper, all the words run together. With your eyes jumping the way they do, gives you a headache. And there's, the only way to get rid of it is to close your eyes and to lay down and rest. Then your headache will go away after a while. But at YCAB Laboratories in Wisconsin, Dr. Baki Rita has invented something called a brain port that may help Don get back on an even keel. Brain port device is a human machine interface to get information from an artificial system to the brain. In Don's case, electrodes are placed on his tongue then wired to a kind of carpenter's level called an accelerometer, which is mounted on a helmet. This helmet is essentially the framework to hold the accelerometer and the electronics, which are right in here. The accelerometer determines spatial coordinates and sends them as pulses to Don's tongue. So this is essentially what this device is doing. It's only giving you forward, back, left, right information information that has been lost by the person who has had damage to the vestibular system. By buzzing his tongue and keeping the buzzes centered, Don regains some sense of balance. When you're standing straight, it buzzes in the center of your tongue. If you fall off to the left or to the right, the buzz follows your tongue. Don does it with his eyes closed and is balanced when the small red box sits inside the blue box. So after you've been on it a few times, you're able to walk relatively normal for up to six hours. After a series of sessions on the brain port, Don feels like his old self. I'm not as wobbly. I shut my eyes and stand and nobody's all hanging on to me. I don't feel like falling or anything. I feel good. <clears throat> normal. Dr. Baki Rita believes his invention is what vestibular disorder patients have been waiting for. Because until now, all that most patients could do was try to learn how to live in their wobbly world. The device can offer the possibility of returning to a full, regular life. I have been reluctant up to recently to say that, but we have such tremendous success with everyone we've tried it with has shown excellent responses. In One Step Beyond's exploration of extreme nature, extreme medical disorders, and an extremely dangerous use of electricity, Don's case is perhaps the most impressive of them all. It's possible that his world won't be so extreme for much longer. You want to go out and do things. I mean, I've been a prisoner in my house for three years. You feel like you want to go outside and walk around and go enjoy life. <laughs>